Good evening. Our big story tonight at six Republican Rep Senator Martha McSally speaking out about two serious challenges for President Trump. The expanding impeachment inquiry and tonight questions from his own party about why he abandoned an American ally. All of this coming as a new report highlights McSally's own challenges to keeping her seat next year. Team 12's political insider Bram Resnick is live in Peoria where he spoke to the senator. Bram. Yes, yeah, Senator McSally wouldn't talk about President Trump's call to Ukraine's leader, but she was very worked up about the president's sudden pullout from Syria. Meantime, new fundraising numbers from her Senate race show she is in for a fight in 2020. And this is a very serious issue. This is not a joke. It's not a game. Arizona Senator Martha McSally says she's toning down comments on the impeachment inquiry engulfing President Donald Trump because she might be a judge if it reaches the Senate. This is just more of the same of what we've seen from Democrats for the last two and a half years. McSally stayed mum last week while Vice President Mike Pence dismissed the inquiry during a Valley visit. But on this day, McSally echoed Pence's partisanship. They clearly have political motives that we've seen for the last two and a half years. The other issue of the day, President Trump abandoning America's Kurdish allies in Syria to possible attack by Turkey. This is not the message to send to those who are willing to partner with us uh, to fight against terrorism around the globe. The president posting this tweet in self-defense. As I've stated strongly before, and just to reiterate, if Turkey does anything that I, in my great and unmatched wisdom, consider to be off limits, I will totally destroy and obliterate the economy of Turkey. I've done before. What was the president thinking? This was all his decision. I'm, I'm, I'm not in the president's head, Ram. You'll have to ask him yourself. McSally has other things on her mind. A 2020 battle to win the Senate seat she was appointed to by Governor Doug Ducey. McSally's playing catch up. New fundraising numbers show challenger Mark Kelly, the former astronaut turned Democratic candidate, winning the money race. He's outraised McSally all year, and Kelly's campaign bank account is now twice the size of McSally's. $9.5 million in cash on hand versus McSally's $5.6 million. And Arizona Republicans are staging two anti-impeachment rallies on Tuesday at the offices of Dem uh, Democrats Tom O'Halloran of Sedona and Ann Kirkpatrick of Tucson. Republicans believe both members are especially vulnerable because of their support for the impeachment inquiry. Live in Peoria, Bram Resnick, 12 News. All right, Bram.